we're going to move over to a second story where the army is stating that they are determined to restore peace in northern Borno State. Now, according to this report, they have seven steps that they want to take, and it goes as follows. Number one, the Nigerian army is ever ready to restore peace and ensure that normal life and business activities thrive in Borno State. Number two, the acting commander sector three of the Operation Lafiadoli made this known in Monguno during an interdenominational church service to mark the 58th independence anniversary celebration. Number three, he reiterated the commitments of the officers and soldiers of the sector in ensuring that lasting peace is ever restored in northern Borno. Now, number four, the commander noted that though the job of soldiering is physically demanding, the nation is always going to count on their loyalty and also their commitment. Number five, he also commended the troops for their dedication and selfless service, advising them to concentrate their energy on rooting out to the remnants of Boko Haram terrorists instead of commenting on frivolous issues in social media. Number six, he informed the troops of the efforts of the present army leadership to make their stay in the front line conducive through provision of basic amenities. And last but not least, number seven, he promised that the welfare of the troops is going to continue to receive the utmost attention and it requires aimed at defeating the Boko Haram terrorists. Now, of course, firstly, Olive, I want us to celebrate our troops for everything that they continue to do for us. And this is very positive news coming out of a very disastrous situation that's going on in northern Borno right now. Very true. In terms of celebrating our troops, we feel that um, um, January 15th is the Armed Forces Remembrance Day, and there's still so much more we can do for these yeah. people that constantly put their lives on the line to ensure that there is peace in Nigeria. With the amount of drama we've seen, the amount of insecurity and the problems that we've seen, it's enough for us to have broken apart as a people. But these people constantly put their lives on the line, going out day in, day out, to ensure that they protect the peace, protect us from external um, aggression, and to protect yeah. the internal stability of our nation. What we must do, I like the number seven points that you listed, their welfare. We need to ensure that proper attention is paid to the welfare of our armed personnel. We need to ensure that these people are given primary attention so that people, pe you know, right now, people are nervous. If you had a kid and your kid said he wanted to be in the military, you'd be nervous to say that, to allow your child to join. We want it to be something revert, something, you know, something yeah. of value, something that young children can look up to and say, I want to be in the army. But for now, it's not yet there. We Absolutely. have a long way to go, but we definitely will get there. We definitely will get there. I am hopeful, and honestly, I couldn't have said it better myself. To enjoy more of this, our Ogun get videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.